the Junkers three-motor transport first flew in 1931, carrying from 15 to 19 passengers, it was the first successful commercial transport. Reliability and safety were paramount. All metal construction, the best Pratt Whitney air-cooled engines, vacuum boosted push rods for controls, fixed landing gear, a huge wing and slotted flaps. This was up to the minute technology. Lufthansa served all of Europe. 30 countries would fly the JU-52 from Argentina to the Near East and the Far East. The Luftwaffe adopted the JU-52 as their primary transport and took over production. Being slow and unarmed, it was poorly suited for unprotected military roles. Yet it introduced the concept of military resupply by airlift and was widely used in every operation. Losses were sometimes very heavy. Iron Annie, as it was called, was adapted to every conceivable transport role. A pontooned version flew in the waterways around Denmark and Norway. Between 1931 and 1946, close to 5,000 were built. A few examples are still airworthy 50 years later. About 500 junkers were painted green and yellow and adapted for paratroops and glider tow. Flying from Greece in 1941, this force did the first successful large-scale airborne operation on the island of Crete. History remembers the Junkers JU-52 3M for its pioneering role in commercial aviation next to the Douglas DC-3 that followed it a couple years later. <laughs>